they went and showed love and like they were actually proactive. Now we can get into it if you're ready. Cause that's my surprise. Yeah. I might not be your surprise, but it's my surprise. Go ahead. My surprise, cause like I said, we we started we stated last week. You know, it was lion season, it's still lion season. And I said verbatim, when have the Steelers lied to us? It was a report before we recorded. And what I tell you. It was a re- it was a report before we recorded. They said we ain't going out for none of these veteran quarterbacks. We ain't going for nobody. And I said, okay, cool. They ain't have to tell us that. Yeah. And they, they went na- and they and went name by name. And then the moment that we finished recording, here comes Russell Wilson. Try and what I tell you, hey, listen to me now. Yeah, cool. I, I get, <laughs> you, you, you get that one. But it's like, okay, cool. It's a good, it's a once again, it's a low risk, high reward. But my question and how I want to view this season when it in regards to the Steelers is is the standard the standard or what? Now I'm not trying to be funny, you know what I'm saying? But I, I mean I've asked this for the last few years, but I was hating. But I'm, but I'm seeing I'm seeing the he just better than Kenny Pickett. So if if, yeah. if he just better than Kenny Pickett. Then what are we really like? What are we really trying to do? Are we trying to win, or, or what? Now, I, like I said once again, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just asking for an answer. And now we trying to go. We trying to live with the cannon motto. Just get me in the dance and cut the music on. Then fine, and 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 let your and let it may be, let your chips fall. But if the standard is the standard, the standard is the Super Bowl. Now, yeah, like I man. like again. Now, I don't want to put these lofty goals on you. I just want to know where are we hit. Where where are we? That's all I want to know. That's all I, I want. To know. I I refuse to respond to that because if I respond, it's going to come out same same bias. Russ was the most proven QB out there to acquire without paying forty million. And that's what I wanted. To, I'm glad he said. And I'm glad that he said that. Boom. Russ is the most proven quarterback out here to without acquiring paying 40 million. Now, last year, what did I say about Daniel Jones? The thing that I said about Daniel Jones is it does not matter what he's getting paid. And people seen that meme and really didn't understand what I'm saying. So now I'm going to elaborate on it again. It does not matter what your quarterback is getting paid if the results don't end don't end up where you want your results to be. Mm-hmm. It's just that simple. The, the the whole goal is to win. It doesn't matter if he's getting paid sixty million. It doesn't get paid matter if he's getting paid one point two. The goal is to win. Now this is the thing. And now now let me elaborate again on that. Now if they go out there and let's say let's just say hypothetically that they go out there and they go nine and eight and they got another winning season for Mike Tomlin. Are we gonna say, hey, I mean, Russ was only making 1.2. It's all that matters, right? Mm-hmm. Right? We we we're never gonna say that, right? We're not gonna say that, right? No. Now, if they win the Super Bowl, hypothetically, nobody's gonna say, hey man, we won with Russ because he was making 1.2. Because you know what's gonna happen next year? Is he gonna be making 1.2? Nope. Okay. The results. Are the results? The price tag don't matter. It's all about what your res- what the goals are. That's all. Yeah, and 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 that's one of my things. It's like, because to me, when we talk about is the standard the standard? To me, saying, well, he's better than Kenny Pickett. That wasn't y'all standard because when y'all br- like, it was like it was. It's always just oh well, he's better than this person. Well, he's better than that person. It's like. Oh well, we gonna we gonna keep we gonna keep giving Mitch Trubisky you know a try for the rest of the season. Oh Ben Roethlisberger, we time to get somebody else in here. When Kenny Pickett was like had that end of the season run where it was like, hey, y'all was winning games basically the same way that y'all was winning games this year, just defense and the bounce of the ball. It was like that's not the st- that's not the standard that the Steelers talk about. So again. The way people in this in this group talked about Russell Wilson last year and then acquiring Russell Wilson and then now saying, oh, yeah, 
Like, I'm not saying don't be hype, but we've seen this movie before where it's like you fall in love with all of the, like, because like you fall in love with the brand new, like the fresh, shiny new toy in the off season, but does it fit? Is it going to work? Oh, people talk about, oh, yeah, you know, now we're getting, you know, we got Matt Canna up out of there and we got, you know, the Arthur Smith offense and stuff like that. That same Arthur Smith offense that just got him fired. <laughs> people talk about, oh, you know, it's different. You know, you know, that was that was Atlanta, this, this and that. Look what he did in Tennessee. Well, in Tennessee, he also had a Derrick Henry and an A.J. Brown. Yeah. There was fans. Y'all y'all happy with. Najee Harris, they have think- no, 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 they're happy with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. Jalen Warren, I understand that, but that was a part of it. With Derrick Henry, he was like, Hey, we're doing it all with Derrick Henry, and then you know, after now they got we got t- like after he left, they brought in Tajay Spears and they kind of mixed it up. And you saw kind of that thunder and lightning, but let's let's not just oh, the shiny new toy is always going to be the new things, sometimes it just don't always come together like you think it will. But I, I, that aspect, I, and you're entitled, you're entitled to your opinion as well. Man. And I'm, I'm not I'm saying, not, I, and again, I'm not saying it's not going to work. But again, all I'm saying is, you brought, you bring in Russ, and you got these shiny new toys. I, all I'm saying, I think the fact I, I do, I am a fan of the Arthur Smith hire based off what he wants to do, based, the base, based off how Tomlin wants to run his offense, based on right. the team aspect. I am sold on that aspect. I was sold on that aspect with the with Kenny. Because I'm not, you no, know, I'm not necessarily so sure that Russell Wilson is going to come in here and just automatically just win this thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's a weird, it's a weird dynamic because if he doesn't win, the, if he doesn't win the job, still the fans are gonna say something. If he wins the job, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a weird dynamic. You know, what I'm saying? it's what it's one it's one of those times. Where it's just like, oh, where they talk about, oh, we can't have this, we can't have this quarterback because he's a, uh, you know, he, he can't be a backup quarterback. There's only certain quarterbacks that are able to be a backup quarterback, and I don't think that if Russell Wilson ends up being the backup quarterback for Kenny Pickett, how is it going to look when Kenny Pickett has, a, you know, a, a bad game or two in a row with Russell Wilson being his backup? And so again, like I said, you know, we hear it all the time. Oh, I don't know if the, you know, we don't want this guy to be our backup because he's not a backup. And I mean, I'm not saying they're gonna say, I'm not saying they're gonna say it about Russell Wilson, but it's certain guys who are allowed to be backups and hold the clipboard. And it's only been really Tyrod Taylor and Geno Smith that have been able to do it for a long, long time. I mean, to get I I, I I get it. It doesn't cost you anything to, to put, like I said, it's a high, it's a low risk, high reward situation. I do, I do understand that. I'm not naive to that. That's simple fact that I get it. The fact that they do have pieces, like I said, Pat Fryer, good, a good tight end. George Pickens, a good wide receiver. Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, good wide, um, good running back. The offensive line is improving. Like I said, they got, they, they have another draft to get another piece to help on, on, on this offensive line. So things can definitely on the uptick. Um, the defense, like I said, you know, the defense is definitely. You know it's good, but I, it's too. This team is too. T.J. Watt dependent on defense. Like I right. said, I get it. He's and, great. He's great. And, but it's like if he don't have a great game, it seems like the, the defense can't really. They can't really do anything. If, if, and if here's my and doing. here's my thing with if talking I, about if you know nothing's going to be given. I understand if Russ isn't the starter, it costs you nothing. But then where does that leave you? Because y'all was like, we were just happy that you brought in Russ and, you know, ding dong, the Kenny Pickett is dead type, you know, kind of thing. And so now it's like, if Russ can't come in and beat out Kenny Pickett and then you back here with Kenny Pickett. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Then, then, then what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? So to me, I just feel like that is where I don't put the Steelers in the winner's category. I don't put the Steelers in the loser's category. I just feel like we're in, as Ms. King has been saying, we're in stay afloat and let's see. That's, you know, again, and, and as Marcus says, you know, then we back to where we were before, but then that comes back to the question, is the standard still the standard? Because if you get back to where you were before, 
then what? Where does that where does that leave, you know, Tomlin? Where does that leave, you know, Kenny Pickett, the coaching staff, things like that? And so that's what I'm kind of asking about is the standard is the standard in my opinion. Get- because if you if we back to where we were before, is that acceptable if you're a Steelers, like a Steelers fan? I mean, it is a um it is a non-lose situation. I mean, I think for a simple fact that I I mean let's let's be honest. If Russell Wilson plays exactly like he played last year, this with this still a team, let's say this insert Russell Wilson the way he played with Endeavor last year with this still a team, they 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 still go ten and seven. I still see ten and seven based on the way the way this division is. You know what I'm saying? Now, right. some of these games that they end up losing last year, they had no business losing. Of course, they won't do that. But some of them games that they won, it might. It's so it's, it's, that's why I say it's still the same. I think the same dynamic. Now, like I say, it's a di- playoffs is about about matchup. So, it was like I say, I'm not down on anything about it when it comes to the Steelers. I'm when I'm saying it's an incomplete right now. Only reason it's an incomplete right now because of what they just traded with Deontay, just trading away Dante Johnson. Now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, I ain't going to lie. George Pickens, cool. George Pickens is cool. You're not about to sell me on Calvin Austin. Calvin Austin is ready to do anything. No, absolutely not. Allen Robinson ain't in there no more. You're not about to sell me on nobody else other than that. Now, just, they are accustomed to getting receivers. This franchise can just replenish receivers like it's nothing. So, I'm not mad. I have the confidence that they can just go get another receiver. I'm not saying that they can't. But... As of now, it's George Pickens, and that's it. You know, Pat Farrell, you know, cool. Of they going to need another receiver. Of course. Now, they, so they're going to need the weapon. Like I said, they're going to need the other pieces. They're going to need these other things for Russ to be effective, for Kenny to be effective. So it's, it's incomplete now. I can say I can get everything. Listen, just the questions are the questions. Don't, don't, don't take the questions as, a, as offensive or a diss or anything. This is me talking. To you. you can take whatever AJ said as a diss because it's AJ. If you're a Bengals fan, take it for what it Welcome. is. Listen to me. Like, listen to me. Like these, are, these, are just questions, oh. these are just questions from another perspective. It's an incomplete right now. And it's only been two days of free agency. So we can see some things can happen. Why would you, why would you mention Higgins? I, I, I Come on, guys. Like I get, Cal- yeah, I, I get Calvin Rigg, Rigg, but T Hig- y'all wouldn't get T Higgins for nothing, um, you know. I, I don't mean, care. I don't. Bro. Y'all would have to send a two first in T J Watt. <laughs> We're not sending y'all T Higgins. Nah, We're barely sending get- them to anybody else. Nah, they might go get Tyler Boyd now. And but and that's fine, because he's yeah. on the, he's on the free market. But you're not getting Higgins. Yeah. And they go get and they get Tyler Boyd now. That could, that's a be. Uh, now we now we talking. Yeah, that would that would be the replacement for Deontay Johnson. Not necessarily. It, it would be the upgrade from Calvin Austin, and you know you could use Calvin Austin as you know the little gadget guy as he is. I'm sorry, he, I, he would have to show me, you know, before. They can, but like I said, it's a deep wide receiver uh, draft. They do get wide receivers. Like I said, it's just an incomplete. I'm not going to be ready to one. I'm not at his height. I'm not a Steelers fan. That's why I'm not his height. You know what I'm saying? So, but but I do understand the optimism from still a nation. It's, it's very warranted. Very warranted. Um, 